know me. Hi, this is Shervari Badil, and this is my YouTube channel. So go and subscribe button if you haven't already, and also press the bell icon so that you guys would get notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, uh, so today's video is all about how I edit my Instagram pictures. And if you guys aren't following me over there, then what are you even doing? So yeah, this is how my Instagram profile look like, and to share how I achieved this kind of theme on my Instagram, I am making this video because this video is literally the most requested video on my Instagram. So yeah, I'll just cut the intro short and we'll get into the video. Okay, so the first things first is the apps that I use for editing. Now, I literally use only one single app that's called Snapseed and I use it for all my pictures and it's literally my favorite app. Uh, I also use other apps for some small detailing. I'll share it with you eventually. So first of all, we'll just start by uh, using Snapseed. Okay. Um, so the picture that I am going to select is uh, this one. It's literally my favorite picture. Now uh, I just go to tools and uh, crop the image the way I want it to be. And now we'll go to tools again. Now I'll choose uh, the grainy film option and uh, there's this option called X01. Now this is uh, the filter that I literally use for all my pictures. So uh, here you could just adjust the grain. You could increase it or reduce it the way you want it or you could increase and reduce the style strength as well. I'll just keep it 71. Save it and then again go to tools. And then there is this option called tune image. So with help of this option, I would adjust all my brightness, contrast, saturation and everything. Now I'll uh, increase the brightness a little bit, not much. Then uh, the contrast, I'll increase it to 3028. And then uh, uh, the saturation as well. I literally love more uh, warmer effect in my pictures. So I prefer increasing it. Obviously you could reduce it the way you want a picture to look like. Now all these things would differ from picture to picture. Uh, so yeah, uh, it totally depends on uh, individual picture. That uh, how the light is in that picture and uh, what other things are necessary. I'll reduce the highlight and increase some shadow and again give some warmth to my image. I really love uh, the warmer color on my feet. So yeah, that's how uh, this image would look like. And that's it. Uh, that's all the editing I do. And now I'll just export it and save it to my gallery. Now uh, the another thing uh, that a lot of you guys have been asking me that how I add dust to my pictures. So the app for adding dust that I use is called as Afterlight. So what I would be doing is just going into the app and selecting a picture. Okay. So for this picture, I'll uh, just add the dust of my choice. Now here's this option called Dusty. And there are again many dust styles and you could prefer anything that you want. Now I'll go for number 12 which I usually prefer. So these are the options available here. And you could increase and decrease the dust as well. I want more dust in this picture so I'll just keep it full and then I'll just save it. Now here's another option called light leak. Now it totally depends on you if you want to add this after light to your image. But yeah it's again a really nice option. Uh, I would not prefer using this option for this picture. It again differs from picture to picture. Uh, so yeah that's it. I'll just uh, save my picture like so. Okay, so now we are done with the pictures and now I would be sharing with you guys how I edit my Instagram stories. So the app that I use for it is called as Unfold. Now this is again a really cool app. Uh, it is both paid as well as free to use. Uh, some options are free to use but other you could just buy it if you want. 
Now, uh, for example, again, here's this picture. Now, for example, I'll uh, just start with whatever name it's, it is and uh, I'll add a template. Again, you could choose any template of your choice. Here are many such options to it. So, I'll just uh, use this one and I'll add any picture to it. Okay, and then I'll uh, write a description about my picture or anything that I want to share with you guys. So, for example, I'll just add your new video as a title. And that's it. Uh, just the white background to it adds more effect to my uh, story. And I really love that. You could also change the color of your slide. But uh, yeah, I usually prefer keeping it white. Here are many uh, pastel color options that you could choose. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so now another app that I would be talking about is called as Pixart. Now, I don't really use Pixart for editing my pictures. I uh, use it for adding white background to my images or adding some cool text to it. So, I just open Pixart and uh, we'll select a picture. So I want this picture to look more aesthetic so I would just take the text option and just add the text and uh, I'll choose my favorite font. Then I'll just change the color. I'll add a black stroke to it and some shadow as well. And that's it. Just uh, this way I could just add cool text to it. Or else uh, you could also use this option called a square fit and add a white background to it. Now if you are someone who loves white background in your pictures, Pixart is a really cool app for it. So yeah, you could even prefer this app. But I don't really use it. Okay. So uh, the last app that I would be talking about is the preview app. Now uh, this app has been so helpful to me. Uh, so basically this app gives me a clear idea of how my Instagram feed should look like. So I just pre-plan all my pictures and I just manage it with the help of this app. And I just... Um, you know just manage it accordingly like which picture I need to post next and it really helps you to give a clear idea of how your profile should look okay like. so that's it for today's video I hope you like this video and don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up if you did and also do 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 subscribe to my channel to share my videos and also let me know how do you feel about this video and should I do more such videos now I know there are more technical people who are watching this video and who know more about editing so yeah share your views as well and uh, let me know more such apps which I could use for editing so yeah I would improve my skills as well but yeah I would strongly recommend uh, using Snapseed because it's a wonderful app so yeah also those who aren't following me over my Instagram just go with the link in the description box and follow me over there i would also be doing another video called uh, how i maintain my instagram feed and tips and tricks for maintaining your instagram feed so stay tuned for that video as well and uh, i'll see you soon that's it for today's video bye